Hey guys, welcome back to another Blu-ray update. Today I'm doing my update for the month of August 2015. Uh, sorry I haven't had any videos up in like the last month. It's crazy. It's been like the only month where I haven't uploaded any videos and um, the last video I did was actually an update for last month. So sorry if you're a regular on my channel. I just haven't gotten around to doing anything lately. So this update I've got a bit more than usual. I've got seven Blu-rays to show you. Uh, most of the films in this update are starring a certain actor, but I'll start with the two films that are just random films. So we'll get straight into it. And the first one is Star Trek Into Darkness, the sequel to J.J. Abrams' Star Trek film from 2009. I think this came out in 2013. I uh, recently watched both films. They're both really enjoyable. I used to prefer the first film, but after watching them both again, I think I prefer this one with the addition of Benedict Cumberbatch as the villain. Uh, I think he's a really good villain. This is just your standard JB Hi-Fi Australian Blu-ray, uh, just the regular Blu-ray. That's the front cover, the side, and the back. Some nice artwork there. Uh, and the film looks great on Blu-ray. The picture quality on both Star Trek films is great. Unfortunately, no disc artwork or inlay artwork. That's my least favorite kind of Blu-ray case where you get the plain silver disc, but you can't really do anything about it. Um, so if you're a fan of sci-fi films, um, definitely check these two films out, the two Star Trek films. The next film I got is from one of my favourite directors. It's a movie I only saw once a long time ago and couldn't remember much about. Um, but I bought it and watched it again and it's actually quite a enjoyable and original film. And it's Unbreakable by M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, he did it after The Sixth Sense in 2000 and it stars Bruce Willis from The Sixth Sense as well as Samuel L. Jackson. Great picture quality, recently watched it again just the other night. Um, it's kind of a superhero film but kind of like an origins film. Uh, really interesting, very original, uh, kind of a slow paced movie. You'll notice with a lot of M. Night Shyamalan's early films they're slow paced but they're still really interesting. Lots of really long shots without breaking. Um, really cleverly filmed and just an in interesting film with a great twist at the end as you expect from some of his earlier films, not really any of his recent films but uh, Unbreakable is definitely worth a watch if you're a superhero fan or an M. Night Shyamalan fan or um, Bruce Willis, I think, does his best work with this director. He's great in this film and in The Sixth Sense even better, I think. Uh, so a really good movie worth checking out is Unbreakable. That's the back there. Um, on the inside you do get artwork. It's like his other films with the um, scene selection on the inside as well. So it's just a regular um, JB Hi-Fi Blu-ray. I think I picked it up for $10 the other day, so that's not a bad buy. So these next five films all star an actor that I've really gotten into lately. Over the last couple of months, I've watched over 10 of his films. Um, he's a really old actor, so these, a lot of these films came out in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Um, he died like 10 years ago, and he's actually one of my favorite actors now. And it's Marlon Brando. I think he's definitely one of the best actors. He, I think he had eight Academy Award nominations, and he won two of them. Um, so I'll just show you the five that I've bought. And a lot of these are from overseas, because you can't actually get them here in Australia. So two of them arrived today from America, and the first one is his 1962 film Mutiny on the Bounty. Really cool movie, it goes for almost three hours. Um, you could split this film into three sections. Um, I really like the first section and the second section of the film, but the third half kind of drags on a little bit, and I think they could have cut a bit of that out, but um, it's a really entertaining movie. I'd love to see what the picture quality is like on Blu-ray, as I just got it today, I haven't been able to see it yet. But I love how they've kept the original artwork from the poster on the um, Blu-ray cover. So that's the front there and the back. You do get a good amount of special features on this too. Um, just your eco-friendly case with a plain black disc, so nothing too flash on the inside, but definitely a good movie. And if you're going to get into any of Marlon Brando's films, these ones I'm going to show you are probably his best in my opinion. So. Um, I definitely recommend any of them. So that's Mutiny on the Bounty. The second one I picked up today, which uh, just arrived in the mail, is one of his earliest films, and it's Viva Zapata from 1952, I think. So quite a while ago now. Um, and it was directed by Elia Kazan. He's done three films with this director. Um, in my opinion, they're three of his best films. He also did On the Waterfront and Streetcar Named Desire with that director. Um, I'd love to check this one out on Blu-ray. I have seen it before, but I'd like to see the Blu-ray quality. Um, great performance. This was one of his Academy Award nominated films. So that's the cover and the back there. And you've got the original poster on the back which looks cool. Um, and you do get artwork on the disc which is nice. So a bit of artwork there. This is a really old film and it's in black and white so I can't wait to see how that looks on Blu-ray. This next one was from, as I said, the same director, Elia Kazan. It came out in 1954. 
It's probably my favourite Marlon Brando film at the moment, and it's one of the two films he won the Academy Award for, and it's On the Waterfront. Um, this is the UK Blu-ray with the slipcover. This is an absolutely fantastic movie. One of the best performances of all time, I think, is um, Marlon Brando's performance in this film. It's a black and white movie, but it looks fantastic on Blu-ray. The quality is great. I watched it a few weeks ago with my family. Just a really cool movie, and um, it won eight Academy Awards, as you can see there. Um, that's the back, some cool screenshots. And it's the same artwork when you take it out on the front and the back. And on the inside, you do get artwork on the disc and on the inlay. The inlay picture is just Marlon Brando's character, Terry, laying down on the strip on his roof. So that's on the waterfront. Fantastic movie. If you want to get into Marlon Brando, I suggest this as the first film to check out just to see how fantastic his acting is. It's definitely one worth checking out, one that every film fan should see. So that's on the waterfront on Blu ray from 1954. Um, the next one I have came out the following year in 1955, and this is the Digibook Blu ray of Guys and Dolls, the um, musical comedy film. Sorry, Marlon Brando, uh, Gene Simmons, Frank Sinatra, and Vivian Blaine. I was really interested to see this film because I'm a fan of the old school um, musicals, and this was Marlon Brando's one and only musical. He hasn't done any since or before this, so this was um, kind of surprising to see him singing and dancing as well as acting, and he actually pulls, pulls it off really well. Um, I haven't seen it on Blu-ray, I watched it online, it goes for like two and a half hours, so it's quite a long movie. Really entertaining and fun though, it's in colour this one. Uh, you can see the um, Digibook has a really nice shine to the front, I really like this edition. Uh, that's the side. The back I haven't taken the sticker off, so there's some artwork under there, but I think I'm going to keep it on, so that's the back. And on the inside you do get your book, uh, I don't know if I'm going to show you very well, but some original poster artwork there, and you get all these pages of information on the actors and the director, and um, career highlights for each actor and all that, so really interesting, you get a lot of pictures and screenshots from the film, and stuff on the making, um, and then at the back you just get your Blu-ray disc there, so it's just a single Blu-ray disc, but um, I really like this edition, I think that the um, cover looks fantastic with that glossy shine, and yeah, I like Digibooks too, I don't have many Digibooks, so it's kind of good to have another one of the collection. And uh, it's just a really fun and classical musical, I suggest checking it out as well if you're into that style film. And definitely another great Marlon Brando movie. So the final film I have for this update came out in the late 70s. Um, it, Marlon Brando's in it, but he's not really a main character, and it's, uh, anyway, it's Superman, the movie from 1978, starring Christopher Reeves as the original Superman. I'm a huge Superman film, I love Man of Steel, and this is probably my next favourite. Uh, they're just the two ultimate Superman films, in my opinion, or the ones that came in between. Just didn't do as well as them two films, I think, but um, it's quite a long movie, actually, 151 minutes, so two and a half hours as well. Uh, Marlon Brando plays Superman's father, biological father, Jor-El, who um, Russell Crowe plays him in the new Man of Steel film, so he's that character. He's only in about the first 20-25 minutes of the film, and then a few um, sequences uh, throughout the film, only about two other scenes, I think, but he does really well still with his performance, and I really like the first 20 minutes on Krypton. I think that's probably some of the best of best parts of the film. But uh, this is just your regular Australian Blu-ray, the front cover there, and the back with um, quite a few special features. You do get disc artwork as well, no wing layout work, but you get a few books and pamphlets and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, not too bad. I do actually also have uh, Marlon Brando's 1972 film, The Godfather, on Blu-ray. I have the um, Godfather trilogy. I've already shown that, though. Um, I think about a year ago I did a video on that. So anyway, that's my update for the month of August, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Highly recommend all of these titles, especially the early Marlon Brando films from the 1950s and early 60s. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.